Welcome back, Silver Bull fans. Welcome back to Silver Bull Channel. What's happening with Silver at the moment? It's getting smacked down. Well, Stella Concepts right. I think he was lucky. Um, what have we got happening? We have Osama Bin Laden allegedly killed. Uh, sorry, we're not going to produce his body. We just uh, dumped it in the middle of the Indian Ocean um, or wherever. Um, because we actually give a shit about Muslim traditions for a terrorist scumbag. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, like I'd be giving a shit. If I was a US president and 3,000 of my citizens had been killed by this guy, there is no way I would be giving a shit whatever his religious traditions were. Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu... Scientologist, I wouldn't give a toss. In fact, I'd be doing exactly the opposite of what his religious t traditions were, just to piss him off. Um, yeah, look, how convenient. Now they don't have to produce a body. Um, it just smacks of uh, lies and crap. But you, you form your own opinion on it. Um, did the... American presidents finally grow a conscience and actually give a shit that someone he had murdered, um, that he had to yet abide by his religious traditions and make sure the body was disposed of within uh, 24 hours. I'll let you make your own call. Make a comment below if you've got something to say. If you think I'm a conspiracy nut, put it there as well. Um, but, uh, you know, once again, a job done and not done properly. That's all I can say. Um, be nice to see the footage. They obviously got footage. Um, we're having word of maybe he was shot and he was unarmed. Maybe he was hiding behind his wife. Maybe he wasn't. Um, if the guy was unarmed, uh, what did they think he was wired to blow up? Um, we have things like uh, tasers and other things that could have taken him down. And he could be in a US prison right now. Um, in fact, they could have done it on a slice so no one even knew and uh, then tortured the guy for all the information that he had. That would have made sense, you would have thought. If you had the opportunity to take him alive, the guy would have been a wealth of information if what they're saying about him is true, if you don't hold other views about 9-11 and that. Um, I just don't understand if you're involved in a war on terror where you're concerned about your citizens' lives and what's going to happen to them in the future, that if you had the opportunity to take this guy alive, why you wouldn't? You're talking about the very elite here, uh, uh, Navy SEALs. I mean, when they took him out, they shot him in the head. Um, you're not talking about people who don't know their job. These guys train for nothing else. They are the best. They deserve utmost respect. Um, and if uh, their commander-in-chief said to them, take the guy alive, um, and they saw the opportunity that was unarmed, the guy would have been taken alive. But they plugged him straight in the middle of the head, and uh, maybe the order all along was, we want you to find the guy and kill him. <laughs> um, just my thoughts on the matter. Um, ramblings of a crazy man, maybe. Some random ramblings. Um, anyhow... It's been a great opportunity, this uh, this death of Osama Bin Laden, for them to smack the silver market down, and that's what they've done. We were uh, nearly reaching $50 highs again. We still haven't broken that barrier. Some people would say this is a consolidation the silver market had to have. Some other people would say some people have just used this as an opportunity to smack the silver market down. And some would say, well, did the silver market go down because Osama Bin Laden was killed? Or did it go down because people were standing by ready to drop it? True, the market sentiment would have changed with the death of Osama Bin Laden because although they worried there might be retaliation or whatever, there would be a view that perhaps uh, America's getting on top in the war on terror and that less money would have to be spent therefore maybe they'll get their deficit spending under control, in which case commodities like silver and gold will come down. Um, I personally have a very different view, and you've listened to all my videos by now, 
for those of you who are running around like headless chickens going, oh, I bought silver at $50 and now, now it's dying in value. Um, as other commentators have said, if you can't handle a $10 drop in silver, heck, if you can't handle a, you know, silver halving in value, you shouldn't be in it. I've done a video before on reasons not to buy silver. I got smashed by the silver bulls who were saying, you can't tell people they shouldn't buy silver or da 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 da. And then I did a video on reasons why you should buy silver. The reason I did those two videos is because every um, investment decision has two sides to the story. There's ups and downs. And silver, as I said in that video, is a volatile market. It has ups and downs. There is a potential to lose money. Certainly in the short term. Certainly if you're going to sell at a loss. For me, I hold physical. I do not play the paper games. I hold physical. So if there's a reduction in price and if it's temporary, even if it's six months, I don't care. I'm in it for the ounces. Let me say this again. I am in it for the ounces. I've set a goal in my mind of a certain amount of number of ounces I want to hold. And therefore, price is not the end all and be all for me. I want to buy cheap and that's why I'm happy when they play these kind of paper games. And is it a paper game? You bet your ass it's a paper game. I want to thank Guild40 for this information. He, he searches the net and finds great links on silver. What have we got? Eight years of global supply changed hands last week. Eight years of silver. That's nearly eight billion ounces of silver. They only mine a billion ounces a year, so that's a lot of silver. A lot of silver. Is there eight billion ounces above ground? No, there is not. The fact of the matter is there's less silver above ground than there is gold. So the simple mathematics is they've sold paper silver. This isn't real silver tra changing hands here. This is a paper game. This is a paper game that bears no relation to the physical market. All right? And this is going to bite them in the ass. Yes, we can see a temporary reduction in price. Yes, if it's reflected in the physical market and we have a big dip, you should buy. All right, because the underlying fundamentals are still the same. Silver is a commodity that is running out. Okay, so they talk about a bubble, they carry on. Look, the media has been hyping up for ages. Oh, so, you know. Silver's a bubble, it's sold, oversold, da, da 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 It's oversold in the fact that if you add that to what already was oversold on the paper market, they've sold silver out for a decade in advance. Uh, you know, would my employer be happy if I was uh, said, oh, I'll just take my pay a decade in advance, thanks? Is that all right? You know, this bears no relation to reality. All this means is when the comics defaults, it's going to do it on an even more massive scale. Um, I, it just boggles my mind when I see that. You know, eight years of global silver supply uh, changed hands last week. No, it just means silver was shorted even more massively. They had to do eight years worth of massive silver paper selling to drop the price that. And they didn't even break the 40 yet. And who knows if they're going to be able to break the 40. I'm hoping silver does go down to $20 an ounce. Because I will load up the boat. There are so many people sitting back on the physical market. If you're holding physical bullion and you're thinking of selling because, oh no, I'm going to make a loss. You shouldn't have been in the market in the first place. Alright, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. You should have not been in the market if you can't hold that. To those of you who are like me and are in it for the ounces, you'll be sitting here and, you know, you won't really care what's happening with the paper game. You'll sit, you'll see, you'll see if there's a buying opportunity, you'll buy some more. Because we know in the long term, silver's running out. And it's such a useful metal industri industrial-wise that, um, you know, it's a good metal to have in any portfolio. Um, Personally, I'm one step further. I believe silver eventually will be remonetized, okay, which will mean it will take off in value in a huge way. 
That's my personal opinion. Once again, I am not a financial advisor, all right? Do not listen to my videos for financial advice. They are for commentary, they're for information and educa uh, information, entertainment purposes, and if they're at all educational, I, I'm, I'm glad if they are. But at the end of the day, when it comes to decisions about money, those are your personal decisions, and that's the same for all my videos. I'm not an accountant. I do not have a degree in economics. I don't want a degree in economics, okay? I have a Bachelor of Arts degree. It's not in financial matters. But I look at what's happening around the world and these are my opinions on it. Okay, so silver. Um, if you're keen on the physical and you've got spare, if this, you know, if you can buy silver at that amount, it may be, maybe we will get a psychology going in the market, in the physical market for a little while where people get a bit hesitant and hope that they won't buy till 30. Um, if that's the case, you know, if I've got the spare money and I can buy $35 an ounce and then it goes down to $20 an ounce, as I said, I'll still be happy because I've got that silver. I've got the qu more quantity. That's what I'm chasing. The greater quantity, the more ounces. So the advantage of a lower price for me is I can get more ounces um, because I've got a certain number set in my mind of how many ounces I want and that's what I'm trying to stack. I'm a stacker. If you want to call me what type of silver bull am I, I'm a stacker. I want to get a stack of silver. All right. Um, so what, do they have to sell out two decades worth of silver to get it down to 30? Or are they going to be, a, are they just trying to change the psychology in the market? Are they going to be, like we've seen with all these other quick drops, a slow build continue to go up because the underlying physical demand is still pushing the market ever higher? Let's stay tuned. Good, exciting times. And my only advice to you is keep stacking.